Hey guys, it's your product review with Sam One Online. What? What's going on? Hey, hey. Right. the metal wand, or should I call it the mini metal projector? No, I should call it the mini metal detector. What? All right, let's see what this thing can do. Now, if you notice, I I just took in this off right now. Uh, so that way it can give me a better access into what we're going to talk about and with that being said let us begin uh, So before we even test to see what this thing can do, let's um, open it up and see the composition of it All right, so let's take the uh, safety sleeve off Very very interesting All of them always have a serial number and I don't know why it's kind of like a, a nice little pistol, you know? Bang, bang, you know? <laughs> very, very interesting, right? Okay, let's uh, take it apart and see what it can do. Okay, so we, right now we just took off the little thing. It's going to have a little ring on there, so you know, just don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Oh, and if you notice, I took out the screw. And if you're wondering, this also uses a 9-volt uh, battery. So with that out, that out of the way, let's see what if we can open it. Okay. All right. So this part was on this side, so I want to make sure that you know I don't really you know tamper with anything else. Okay. All right. There we go. That's basically that's all that's in there. So let's look at it from up close. So you got the noise, you know, the sound effects, which is only one sound, right, that it's producing. It's got the LED light right there, as you can see. Very interesting. I'll try to get up close, as closely as it can be, and I'll try to enhance the zoom and feature. Nice. Take a look at the back. Not a lot of soldering on this thing. No sorry, Bob. So everything's in the front, and if you notice, there's two wires protruding, and it's going all the way up to here. And this is the magic right here. This is what causes the um, for you to find the items. So as you can see, this material right here, very very hard, right? Uh, I believe that's a magnet, and there are coils wrapped around. That has to be the copper. Now keep in mind, it's wrapped only one time. One time, yeah. So, that in itself, if you can get an idea, right? And that's how you're finding the items. Because the item itself is magnetized. So it's also uh, supposed to be waterproof in certain areas. Well, maybe up to here. And so they just wave it around. And they'll be able to find any items, which I thought is totally cool you know but here, here's the thing here's a here's a little trick in case y'all want to do that but remember whenever you want to alter these um, metal detectors there's an advantage and a disadvantage so let me explain that um, so in this piece right here right now keep in mind it's only one layer it looks like it's two but it's not this is actually this coil has actually moved across but it's just one. Oh, there's glue on it No, no, wait, hold on. It could be two. It could be two. Now, here's the thing. What some people do is they add another layer of, of uh, copper, right? Some people use thick one. Some people can use uh, like double or triple layer. They actually put it to magnetize this even more. That'll make the signal twice as strong, right? When you're metal detecting, but the disadvantage is it's gonna drain the battery. So the more coils you add, right? the less battery power you have on it so if you want to go this route right you're gonna to have to drill a hole somewhere right there right and so that way you can uh, protrude and add an extensive battery or extensional pack so that way you can uh, use this right and the magnetism would be so good you'll be able to uh, metal detect a lot more deeper but I do want to say this um, this is going to be much more complicated. <laughs> the thing is, the sound, right? 
it's only going to make one sound. Now, uh, it might it, it might alter depending on it, right? But it's going to make one sound. It's not going to tell you if you have gold or copper or silver or anything like that. It's just going to tell you that there's something down there. And so we also need to see the range and the distance on how these things go. So let's do that right now. Let's do that test. So this is going to call. This is going to be called. I like to call it the distance test. I'm going to use my little old router. Okay, so let's just take some of these items out. And we're going to get an actual working metal detector. Not to say that this is not working, but uh, <laughs> we're going to alter this one, right, uh, for a friend that is metal detecting in a certain area. And so, yeah, that one's going to be a little bit more custom made. But you know what? You don't really need to alter anything. You know, it's, it works just as good. Now you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna use a standard, there you go, that's a good word to use, a standard metal detector. This hasn't been altered or anything like that, this just comes factory, okay? Now keep in mind, I have used it for quite a while. Uh, might see a little dust in there or a little sand in there, but it's okay, it still works. And uh, yeah. Next, we're gonna add the ruler. The ruler's gonna give us the distance now, let's pretend that this thing is under the ground, like so. Okay. It's ready to go. Okay. As you can see, hold on. I want to make sure y'all see it. I'm pretty high up, and I can't detect this. Let's see when we can detect it. You see, you see, guys, what I'm talking about? So we're going to measure that. We want to measure that. And so now, that's what the ruler is for. Okay, it's going to be a little complicated. But that's what I'm talking about. Let me see. We're talking about a fraction of an inch. I'll even, I'll even do this. I'll even hold it. Yeah, I, I would say about within one inch. Now, if you add an extra two layers of copper, right, you'll be able to scan that no problem, three, four, five inches. And so this is why I'm doing that video, is because, see that? This is the closest I can get to, right? And it's, it's within half an inch. This is one inch. Two inches, or three inches, nothing. So you have to be really close to the item. And some people think that that's the best option, you know, because when you're digging in the ground, you want something that's going to narrow it down, you know, and I agree with that, you know, but there's some people, they want to use it, uh, they want to stick a broom on this, right, and then just extend it, you know, out there, and, you know, I can understand that, that's custom made right there, you know, <laughs> but you're not going to know what's in the ground with this, it's not going to tell you if it's gold or silver or copper, etc., so it's better to leave it at the factory, right? This is only meant for you when you're digging in the ground, right? And you're like, where is that item? So you're going here, nothing, here, nothing, and then boom, it's right here somewhere. And so remember guys, leave it at the factory level. Just when you have it open, put the batteries in there and just go out there and find some stuff. You know, got a little flashlight too. So, but, but I do want to say that, you know, this is a very awesome item, you know, um, it can be used for several different things. It doesn't have to be about finding, you know, precious metals, currency or anything like that. You can also find, right? You can also uh, use it as a, um, a metal detector when like you have parties outside, right? And uh, you want to see if your friends have weapons. So, you know, you just go like that and say, mm, oh, you have a gun right there. Mm, you got a knife over there, you know. This can be used to detect items for, you know, that your guests are coming in. You know, that way you know what kind of weapons they have and their et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> or maybe not know what kind, but, you know, exactly like, you know. Uh, you know they have something because it's, 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 it's blinking real fast. <laughs> Somebody's doing something funny over there, so I, I don't want <laughs> stop that. Anywho, uh, we're going to get back working on the other one. Uh, we, we do want to say that um, 
Making these are totally awesome. Now remember, if you add one, if you want to make a custom one, just add another layer here, right? And an external battery pack. You could put two wires right here, right? Stick them out, right? And you can use a, you know, you can tape the batteries and do an extension. Or if you have a rechargeable battery, that'll also work as well. You have to double them up. And here's the button to beat. So, and also some of these parts are still good too. Like you know, if you want to use it for other things, you know, easy to come off, and the solder's not really too deep. So that's a that's a good plus. And then and you got a nice uh, magnet here. You know, in case you don't you don't use it for this, you want to use it for something else. Nice magnet right there. Nice, you know. Look at that. Just so totally awesome. I know some of them have other materials on here, right? You know, but uh, hey, it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thanks again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope that helped you out as to, you know, metal detecting wands. They're just so awesome. You just Look, they got a little sleeve on it, so you can just put it right there, you know. And look, see? I can leave it dangling, you know, in case I want to just check and then say, ooh, look, I'm, I'm searching for something. And check again. See? So that does come in handy. So I, I would recommend you get one. It was so totally awesome. I found some very interesting things with this thing. So, you know, yeah. Antiques, uh, stuff from the under the ground, you know, that I wouldn't thought to find. But it does pinpoint, does narrow it down. And it is an awesome item. I recommend you go get one. And, uh, yeah. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. So awesome. Oh, yeah, and it's got a little, so you can put it on your, you know, your belt. See? Very, very secure. So, yeah. Why would you not buy one of these? <laughs> Thanks again, y'all, guys. All right, y'all take it easy, okay? Goodbye, goodbye.